Lynn David and I'm with Clients First Business Solutions. Welcome to this video demonstration on data management tool. The video demonstration scenario I'll be using is importing part data into Epicor using DMT. Data management tool, otherwise known as DMT, is utilized to import mass data into your Epicor system. There are several key features to using the DMT. First one is you can add, update, and or delete records. The DMT will advise you of the required fields needed for your import. DMT will create an error log and also create a reprocess file of data that was not imported because of errors. And you can import data using Excel or CSV files. Now I'm going to open up my data management tool and this is the home page for the data management tool. You'll notice on the top there's a row of categories. Inside those categories are where your templates are held. For part data load I'm going to select inventory, part, and then part. Now you'll notice on the screen to the right towards the middle there's three checkboxes. This is your delete, your add new and update. For this scenario, I'm just going to be adding new data, so I'm going to unselect update. Next to that is your required button. When I click on that, a window appears and tells me the required fields that are needed for this DMT load of data. Go ahead and click OK to close the window. And now I can create my template. In order to do that, I need to select the Template Builder button located in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I'll go ahead and click that. And my Template Builder window displays. You'll notice in the Template Builder window that the required fields are automatically selected. For this demonstration, I'm going to select some additional fields of data that I want to import into Epicor. I'm going to select the inventory unit of measure, the purchase unit of measure, the type code, non-stock, unit price, and now I'm going to show you the filter function instead of scrolling through the list to find the sales unit of measure that I'd like to bring in. I'm going to start typing in sales and you'll notice the sales unit measure populates on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then if I clear my filter field, you'll notice that the list displays again. Now I need to save my template. So I'm going to go ahead in the bottom corner, select on the Create Template button. And the Save As window displays. You need to name your template file. For this scenario, I'm going to name it Part Load. And I'm going to click Save and now I've saved my template that I can now use for data import. Now I can close the template builder and I need to populate my template with the data that I'd like to load into Epicor. So I'm going to simply minimize the data management tools window. You'll see on the left I already have a spreadsheet created of data that I'd like to import into Epicor using DMT. What I need to do is to simply select my data, click copy, and then paste into my template. And then I'll need to populate my company ID in the company column. For this scenario, I'm going to use Epic 06. And I'll just simply copy and I will paste the company ID down the column. And then I'll click Save. And yes, I'd like to keep the format because I'd like to use the .csv format. Now I'll simply bring up the data management tools window again. I'm going to click the part source button to be able to bring in my template. You'll notice that the window opens up so I can select my template. I'll select it and click open. In this field right here, you'll see that the grid populates with the data that I would like to load. I'm going to click the validate. What this does is it validates all column labels. It comes back, all columns are valid, so I'll click OK. And then the next step and last step is just to click the process. And what this will do now is it's going to process my data 
and load it into Epicor. And at the end, you will have the window that appears that says Import Complete. I'll click OK. You'll notice it tells me how many records were loaded, and it gives you the duration of how long it took and the RPM. I want to thank you for joining me in this demonstration of how to use the data management tool. Have a great day.